Ladies and gentlemen, this is Chris Stratomatic Delaware, and we are presenting to you Digging Deep Boxing. And we are going to go over this game from diggingdeepsports.com. You can go there and purchase this game and other games. Um, but I wanted a boxing game, and I wanted a nice and simple one, so we're going to check this out. We're going to go through the instructions, we're going to go through the game pieces, and then we're going to do a fictional bout between two of the all-time greats. And I got the heavyweight uh, cards, heavyweight boxers to go with this, about 270 cards. And we're going to have Muhammad Ali taking on the Italian Stallion, Rocky Balboa. Louisville, Kentucky takes on Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. So here we go, folks. Live and in living color. Ready to rock your world. Get these back where I know they're going to be good. Okay. So let's go ahead and let's dig into El Senor Instruction Book. And we're going to go through this step by step. Show you everything. Uh, my printer goes through way too much ink and it's out of black at the moment. So that's why we're doing the screenshots. So, well, uh, without any further ado, Digging Deep Boxing. Um, of course, you can read the instruction manual. Uh, the game pieces will come uh, like this. You have a 10-page instruction manual. You will have charts. You will have a copy of a score sheet, which you can always print off more of your own or even make your own if you find something that works a little better. Uh, components of the game you will need. You will need three 10-sided die. And, of course, you can do like any of them. For me, I'm going to find this easier to do if I have a separate one for the hundreds digit and a percentile for the tens. So that way, if I roll it, I know what I got every time, uh, 513. But whatever 3D10 combo works for you. You'll need two boxers cards, a 48 card check the deck, um, and I'll show you the check the deck when we get to that in the instructions. I've got that on the screen as well. A uh, pen or a pencil. I got my pankle. Uh, charts needed for play. We'll show that to you as well and the score sheet. What to do before the first round. Determine who the champion is and who the challenger is. Each boxer needs to be assigned either the champion or the challenger. As some of the check the deck cards will, and we're waiting on this slow response time. There we go. Oh, da -de da Didn't want it to do that. Yeah, this uh, screen recorder, it's very slow response as to what you do on the screen, so um, pardon me for that. I apologize. First time using it, but uh, we will uh, get it. Alrighty, okay, uh, check the deck, um, the champion is the one with the most wins, and why are you doing that, I don't, ah, dear lord, okay, the other boxer is considered the challenger, if they both have the same number of wins, then whoever has the most KOs is listed as the champion, thank you for finally doing what I wanted a minute later. Uh, if both boxers also have the same amount of KOs, then each boxer rolls one die. Whoever rolls higher is the champion for designated designation purposes only. Whoever the champion has is the champion has his name listed in the champion section of the score sheet. And uh, we'll show the score sheet in a moment because this is so slow. Uh, whoever the champion. Whoever is the champion has his name listed in the champion section on the score sheet. Do the same for the challenger. So you will uh, look at this for instance. Muhammad Ali has 56 wins. Rocky Balboa has 57. He would be the champion in this bout. If they both had 56 or 57 or 21 wins, then you would roll, say, Balboa is the white die. Ali rolled higher. He's the champion for designation purposes in this bout. Okay, once the champion and the challenger have been determined and the score sheet is filled out, you will need to determine how many rounds this bout will be. 
then all the prep work is done. You're ready to start. Cue the ring announcer because let's get ready to... It's a copyright thing, so, you know, I don't want to get copyrighted. Bleh. Reading the boxer's cards. Uh, weight class. That's going to be right here, and in this uh, instance, they're all heavyweights. There is a chart somewhere in here that shows you the de designations for like 20 weight classes. But these are all going to be heavyweights in the cards that I'm going to have. Every class from heavyweight to minimum weight is represented in Digging Deep Boxing. This field shows which weight class this boxer is fighting in. The for reference cards list what each abbreviation stands for. Nationality, the boxer's nationality. Both of these are United States. You've got Germany, Ukraine, United Kingdom, you name it. Uh, it lists where they come from. The name. Uh, kind of self-explanatory. Digging deep number. The number of rounds or chances a boxer can dig deep during a bout. Chances can be taken away. And extra chances can be granted if the right check the deck card is drawn. Uh, digging deep situation. This box shows uh, when a boxer can dig deep and what bonuses are given. Some boxers can only dig deep in the first five rounds, while others can dig deep after the fifth round. And it'll say first five or after the fifth. Some boxers can dig deep in any round. Bonuses given include utilizing the digging deep. Hopefully, I'll get back up there quick so I can read it. The digging deep column when on offense, defense, or both. Offense is attack, defense is defense. Fatigue, a boxer's fatigue rating. This number decreases over the course of about. The lower the number, the greater possibility of the boxers being knocked out. Um, the fatigue rating essentially is, and we'll make sure later, but essentially it is after that round, that is when you start to take a point away from what the boxer has. So in the 23rd round, that would drop to 21. In the 19th round for Rocky Balboa, that would drop to 17. Is that it? Yes. Fatigue. Yeah, the boxer's fatigue rating. This number, and make sure, so I don't see it anywhere else. That is the fatigue rating. Um, dom de dom. Yeah, we just read that. Power. PWR, PWR, and this may come in in results um, on charts or digging deep. Boxer's power rating referenced when using the toe to toe chart. That's it. And we'll show you the toe to toe chart as well. This is also referenced on certain check the deck cards. Okay. And then you have the boxer's finesse rating, second in this little box. Uh, this is referenced when using toe to toe and also some check the deck cards. Injury rating, which is the third one in this box. Boxer's injury rating, it's referenced when the boxer is required to make an injury check where he could be technically knocked out, TKO'd. Boxer's stance, Muhammad Ali, orthodox, Rocky Balboa, southpaw. Um, attack, the boxer's attack chart is going to be this top section right here. And uh, it is, this section is referenced when a boxer rolls for his result of a round. And basically each boxer is going to make a roll to see how they did in that round. So it's not blow for blow. It's it's a pretty quick simulation. Uh, you'll see when we get to the bout. Uh, defense. The boxer's defense chart in this section is referenced when the boxer rolls for his result of a round. Uh, normal column. This column is referenced to resolve rounds when neither boxer is digging deep. This column is also referenced if both boxers are digging deep because they would cancel each other out. And then we scroll down. And wait about five seconds. Hopefully that's all. Come along now. Let's go, Margaret. Okay. Uh, the digging deep column, which is right here. This column is referenced when this boxer 
the particular boxer is the only one digging deep in the round. If both are, they cancel out, and then you're going to go to the normal. Uh, quick play. When quick playing about, uh, refer to this section when determining the outcome. This is the quick play section down here. So, like, if you wanted to have a whole night and you had, like, four or five, six undercards before the main bout, you could quick play a bunch of them so that way you would have, you know, your uh, little warm-up fights before you got to the main event. And then stat lines. So you have knockouts, uh, wins, losses, knockouts, and also the years that they boxed. Um, playing around, normal situation. If neither boxer is digging deep, follow these simple rules. To determine the outcome of the round, first the challenger rolls three dice to come up with a number between one and a thousand. So right there, Muhammad Ali being the challenger with less wins. Uh, he has rolled an 18. So first the challenger rolls 3 to come up with a number. Results 1 to 500 are read from the challenger's attack. So 18 would be a KN. If he had rolled uh, 331, it would have been a cut. You can get cut. Uh, injuries can occur. Uh, results 501 to 1000 come from the other boxers defense chart so you would have looked at the defense chart down here so it would have been the 501 to 900 anything more than that is check the deck uh, below are a list of possible outcomes from the attack chart we're gonna guess 12 so we're hoping Come along now. There we go. I can do 16 cursors. I can do 14, I think. Yeah, again, I apologize for this. Okay, here we go. So KN is going to be the first row up here on every boxer's card. Attack, defend, the type of attack or defense. So KN, you knock your opponent down to the canvas. Your opponent must now roll on the knockout chart to see if he gets up or not. SOL. Solid hit. During the round, you land several solid hits on your opponent. Depending on how your opponent fares, the judges are most likely going to score the round in your favor. GLA. Glancing blow. During the round, you land a few glancing blows, however, nothing overly powerful. If your opponent showed any offense, odds are that you are not winning this round. Cut. Cut. Uh, opponent is cut. So if you roll cut, your opponent is cut. After a vicious cross, you cut your opponent. You must roll. Your opponent must roll on the cut chart to see any further penalties that are applied. Afterwards, you will need to re-roll this round to see your final result. Uh, PD. Point deduction. You've done something the referee considered against the rules. He deducts one point off your score for the round. Afterwards, you will need to re-roll this round to see your final result. Just subtract one point from the final result. N-O-O. -O, no offense. Not your best round. You really couldn't put together much offense. Hopefully, the next round fares better for you if you make it that far. So we continue through the instructions. Possible outcomes from the defense chart. And as soon as that scrolls up, we're going to have KND, which is going to be the top one, which is knocked down. Your opponent catches you. Let's do this since we can. Your opponent catches you off guard and you are sent to the canvas. You must now roll on the knockout chart to see if you are KO'd for good. Yeah, it's going to slow everything down. Don't worry about it. Uh, second one is going to be SOL. SOL. Hit with a solid hit. Your opponent sees an opening, takes advantage, and is able to connect with some very solid blows. You won't be winning many decisions if you have too many rounds like this. Let's do that. Uh, third is GLA. GLA. That doesn't mean glass jaw. That means hit with a glancing blow. If 
Your opponent is able to connect a few punches, albeit nothing much to speak of. Hopefully during this feeble attempt, you will see an opportunity to strike. Uh, four. Cut. Cut. That's the fourth one in the defense section. Cut. Cut. You are cut. If your opponent connects just over the eye with a damaging blow, uh, you will need to roll on the cut chart to see if you incur further penalties for the remainder of the bout. Afterwards, your opponent will need to re-roll this round to see his final result. ALD, ALLD, all defense. You hunker down and are playing defensively this round. In other words, live today, fight tomorrow. And then check the deck on all rolls of 901 to 1000. Uh, where you draw a card from the check the deck deck and uh, see what happens next. So once you have determined what each boxer has rolled, you will need to take a look at the reference card to determine the final result of the round. Let's go ahead and show you the reference card. And uh, basically, you're going to score each round. And here you go. Here are the weight classes that we mentioned earlier. Probably about 18 weight classes. And those initials will be up here in the upper left corner of the card so you know what weight class they're fighting at. Uh, let's get this down a little. Uh, up here you have champion, boxer with more wins or more KOs if wins are the same. Challenger, boxer with fewer. If no final round result is given from a check the deck card, the boxer re-rolls the round after the card is resolved. Now here you go. If one boxer rolls solid blow and the other rolls glancing blow, score the round 10-9 for the boxer who rolled the solid blow. It tells you what to do with all of these. Uh, quick play reference chart is down here, so that way if you're just doing a quick play for the undercards, you're going to use this chart right here. It's basically one or two die rolls and the fight's over. You get who wins. But yeah, for um, after you have rolled the round, this is where you go to see what happened for the round. If it is scored, if someone needs to roll on the knockdown chart, if uh, someone needs to roll on the cut chart and then re-roll the round, if you go to the toe-to-toe -to -toe chart. Um, so let us see that. Let's go back to the instructions. That is this chart right here, the reference card. So that way you know what it's referring to and it says go to the reference card. All righty. Um, once you've determined, yep, you'll need to take a look at the reference card to determine the final result of a round. Remember, if a boxer was knocked down, he will need to lose one point from what he would normally have been scored. So if the reference card should provide the possible outcomes that can occur during a match, most outcomes will result in a 10-9 score. Uh, some outcomes could be lopsided and result in a 10-8. Other outcomes could be so close that the judges will refer to the previous round to see who had the momentum coming into this round. Still other outcomes could be so close you will need to go to the toe-to-toe -to -toe chart to see who had the edge in the round. So let us show you the toe-to-toe -to -toe chart real quick. And this next screen is going to have all the charts. You've got the toe-to-toe -to -toe chart. You've got the knockdown chart. So all of these charts are going to be here. And we'll page down to show you all of the charts that are here. Toe-to-toe, uh, -to -toe, knockdown, waiting on the computer to do it. Yeah, you're going to have to work on this if we're going to do too many more of these streams. You've got your cut chart right there. And uh, you will see that if, you are, if your fatigue is a certain number right here, if your fatigue value and you roll 1d10, you could lose a finesse, you could lose a fatigue or have no effect. Or if it's even worse, you've got three finesse, one fatigue lost. All the way up to four finesse or even TKOs if you roll re really low fatigue and really low numbers on the rolls. So things can happen. 
Uh, there are three more charts in here, I do believe. We're going to scroll down to those. Here you have I believe we'll, we'll read about this in the rules. Because again, I've not played this yet. We're going over the rules right now, so I'm going to be losing this as well. I'm going to be learning this as well. Yeah, I'm going to be losing this as well. And then uh, solo digging deep chart. That way, if you just want to play one boxer and let this mechanic take care of the second fighter, you don't have to do both. Like for using digging deep points and stuff like that. So that is that. So let us go back home and back to the instructions. Well, that was quick. We should do that all the time. As I drink my coffee. Friday morning, long weekend, woohoo! Uh, middle of the page. And we are on page three, I think, of the instructions. Four, perhaps. Whenever both boxers roll solid blow or both boxers roll glancing blow, you will need to move to the toe-to-toe -to -toe chart to resolve the round. Remember the following before going to the toe-to-toe -to -toe chart. Both boxers roll solid hit. You reference each boxer's power rating. So solid hit, you're going to look at the power ratings. Glancing blows. And I dropped my pinkle. Well, at least I didn't drop my dice. Glancing blows, you're going to refer to each boxer's finesse rating. Which is the second rating right here. When you go to the toe-to-toe -to -toe chart, each boxer takes one die and rolls. So we're going to say Balboa is white. So we're going to go to the toe-to-toe -to -toe chart. And let's say we take the power to um, solid hits. So Balboa has rolled an eight. Well, let's see, each boxer rolls one die. Uh, winner slash winner, loser slash loser, big win slash big win, big lose slash big lose. Boxers are evenly matched. Each player rolls one die again. Um, if it is, well, let's see what this is. Balboa is a B plus and rolled an 8. So he is a winner. Muhammad Ali is a B and I moved my cards. Don't do that. They were perfect. Balboa is, uh, Ali rather, is a B, and he rolls a 4. B and 4 is winner also. Winner, winner, chicken dinner, both of them. So you roll the dice again until you get a result. Okay, Balboa is a 6, so that is winner. Muhammad Ali rolls a 1 on his B. He is the loser. Winner and loser. The boxer who rolled winner wins the round 10-9. Winner and big lose. Uh, the winner wins the round 10-8. Big win and loser. The boxer who rolls big win wins the round 10-8. Big win, big lose. The boxer who rolled big win knocks his opponent down. If the round is completed, he wins the round 10-8. So he knocks his opponent down. And you got to go to the knockdown chart in order to see whether the opponent gets up at all. Let's do that. That way we can see that chart. Um, if you've got um, big win and winner, the boxer who rolled big win wins the round 10-9. Big lose and loser, the boxer who rolled loser wins 10-9. So that is the toe-to-toe -to -toe chart and how it works. We're going to go back to this. And it lists it right there in the instructions also. But it's it's got it right there on the chart. So that way you're going to know right there at the chart exactly what's going on with it. And we are leaving page 4. Going to page 5 of the instructions. And we'll do a separate video after this to demonstrate how a bout works. So that way I can just have everything down here. And then I will just have the computer screen for the charts. So it'll go a little quicker. And you'll be able to see you can do a bout in about 
15, 10, 15 minutes, depending on how long it lasts, depending on how experienced you are with it. So it doesn't take a lot of time to do. Wait for this to come up. Once you have determined the final outcome of the round, you can mark it on the score sheet. I'm going to show you the score sheets that come with the game. Um, that will be in a moment. Right here. Champion's line is on top. Challenger's line is on the bottom. Uh, you enter their fatigue points. They're digging deep points, name, then you score each round. And then once it is over, total score over here to see who won, who lost. So that's what the score sh the scorecards look like. Uh, we can go a little further down. Once you have determined the final outcome of the round, mark it on the score sheet. If there is a next round, each boxer loses one to fatigue, and you move on to the next round. That goes against everything I've seen. So we're going to look at fatigue and make sure how that works. Disregard that sentence right now. Remember that regardless of how many times a boxer is knocked down, penalized, or cut during the course of a round, the most lopsided a round can be scored is 10-8. Playing around. Digging deep. Each boxer is given a digging deep number and a situation box. So here's their digging deep number, and here is their situation box. Muhammad Ali can use it for attack, first five rounds, or defense after the fifth round. Rocky Balboa can use it for attack or defense, but after the fifth round. Yeah, that's right. He dug deep at the end of his fights. So they kind of made that yeah, true to Hollywood. <coughs> Let's see. Each digging deep opportunity lasts for one round. Extra digging deep chances can be given or taken away via certain check the deck cards if they are drawn. Keep in mind that a boxer's digging deep number can never go below zero. Also keep in mind that any digging deep chances gained from a check the deck card can be used at any time in any situation that is allowed on their cards. I'll gain from a check the deck card can be used any time, any situation, and gives bonuses to both attack and defense. So if you get check the deck cards and they give you digging deep points, you might want to mark them somewhere else so that way you know they can be used any time. So if Rocky Balboa were to do a check the deck card, I'll show you those in just a second. Um, he could use it for attack or defense any time in the first five rounds. That's actually pretty cool. Check the deck cards. You can either get printed check the deck cards, color check the deck cards, which looks something like this. Now, oh, come on, the timing could have been perfect. Knock, knock. Check the deck cards, come on. It's not going to show them. Well, then we'll go to the regular one. Some of them have pictures. Uh, there you go. Fighters on there. They're also numbered uh, up to 48 check the deck cards, and it tells you what happens here. Kind of a rating check there might be. Um, the normal cards, and you've got power checks. A, it gives you power checks, uh, major bolstered confidence, major deflated confidence. So it gives you things that you would do with them, and we will check and make sure as we go through the rules what you do with each of these the standard cards which come with the rules if it'll load them up and it's images so it's going to take a sec and while it's loading up oh, there it is okay check the deck cards um ratings check it will tell you what to do uh digging deep adjustment boxer gains two digging deep Points which can be used in any round. Bonus given to both offense and defense. Uh, ratings check. If passed, the boxer lands a solid hit and does not lose one fatigue at the end of the round. If failed, the boxer shows no offense and loses two fatigue at the end of the round. And the ratings check is power check A. So if he is A or greater, it's passed. If it's A minus or less, he failed. 
So that is how those work. While that loads, I will be right back. OMWB, just in case you heard that. All right. So let's get back to the instructions, going through the instruction manual. So we have seen the check the deck card. Below the number representing how many digging deep chances a boxer gets in the digging deep situation box. Number representing the chances is the digging deep situation box, which is that right there. That box contains the requirements needed for a boxer to dig deep. And there are some cards where they have zero digging deep points and they'll have zero situations. And that boxer cannot dig deep. A boxer can dig deep either only in the first five rounds if first five is listed, only after the fifth round if AFT after five is listed, or in any round if both of those are listed. Uh, the do to do the bonus a boxer receives from digging deep is the ability to roll in the DD column over here of their card, effectively taking the other boxer's ability out of the equation for this round. If attack is listed in the digging deep situation box, when digging deep, this boxer can roll on the DD column when on the offense. In the normal column, when on defense. If defense is listed in the box, this boxer rolls on the normal chart when attacking and on his digging deep column when on defense. If both attack or defense is listed on the box, this boxer rolls on both digging deep columns when digging deep, giving him a serious advantage for this round. Before you roll to determine the outcome of a round, the challenger announces if he is digging deep. So the challenger goes first. After that decision is made, the champion also has the option of digging deep. If the challenger does not dig deep and then the champion does, the challenger is given one more chance to dig deep. Essentially, each boxer will be given a fair chance to dig deep. You cannot sneak attack a digging deep opportunity. There is one final note regarding digging deep. If both boxers decide to dig deep in the same round, they cancel each other out and return to normal play. Each boxer is still charged one digging deep opportunity because they both took it. Now let's go on to fatigue. Each boxer is given a fatigue rating, which is right here. <sighs> this rating shows how long a boxer can go before running out of steam without having to list out the chart results. I can tell you the boxer with zero fatigue is automatically knocked out for a full 10 count if knocked down. He has also a 40% chance of a TKO if he gets cut. Trust me, you will find yourself at a serious disadvantage if you find yourself with zero fatigue and your opponent with still something left in the tank. You can make note of how much fatigue a boxer starts with on the score sheet, as I showed you. As the bout progresses, you can tick off fatigue used also on the score sheet to give you an idea of how close a boxer is running to empty. So you want to keep track of those fatigue points. 
Each boxer loses one fatigue for every round completed. Ah, oh, okay, because it used to be different. I was watching an older video on Steve Towers after further review YouTube channel, and he inspired me to get this. Uh, great channel, check him out. Does a lot of history maker baseball and other uh, tabletop um, sports games as well. And uh, after further review in the news on Tuesday evenings, I believe. Uh, great channel, check him out. But uh, each boxer loses one fatigue for every round completed. So he's going to go 22 rounds before he drops to zero in the 23rd. He'll go 18 rounds before he drops to zero in the 19th round. So a 15 round bout, they're not going to go to zero. However, they are going to drop way down in there. Uh, so that is something to bear in mind as you get into the later rounds of a bout. Uh, the only way to stop this loss is to continue uh, fatigue is to draw a green check the deck card and pass the rating check. If you pass, you continue on to the next round without losing fatigue. There are also chances that a boxer can lose more than just one fatigue in a round. Some check the deck cards will penalize a boxer fatigue for various reasons. If a check the deck card uses the phrase extra fatigue, that means extra fatigue is lost on top of the normal one per round. Boxers can also lose extra fatigue if required to roll on the knockdown chart and the cut chart. There is also a chance for a boxer who must roll on the injury chart to get back up, but immediately loses all fatigue. As you can see, fatigue is a very important rating to check out when scouting boxers for digging deep. Someone with a lower fatigue should look to end the bout quickly before finding himself on his back. And the winner is... As you go round by round, you should be keeping score in the event a decision is needed. As with boxing, there are four ways to end a bout. Knockout. Someone is knocked down or rolls KO on the knockdown chart. There is also a chance of an automatic knockout if never saw it coming is drawn from the check the deck. A check the deck card. TKO. Maybe not as dramatic as a straight knockout, but just as effective. A TKO can happen in a few ways. If someone is knocked down three times in one round, rolling TKO when using the cut chart or rolling TKO when using the injury chart. Uh, judges decision. If you go the full distance, whoever has scored the most points is awarded the win by decision. Throwing in the towel. If this check the deck card is attached to a boxer and he is knocked down or gets cut, his manager throws in the towel to end the bout. And now we're going to look a little more about the check the deck cards. Uh, using the check the deck card deck is a simple process. Simply flip the top card and read the results. There are four types of check the deck cards ratings check which is green the boxer is going to be checked on either his power or finesse rating all ratings are based on the schoolhouse grading system a plus through f if the boxer passes the check he will gain a small bonus if he fails he will incur penalties and extra fatigue will be spent then there are blue cards as you saw digging deep adjustments this boxer could have the digging deep number increased or decreased Could have the number in, digging deep number increased or decreased. Remember that a boxer's digging deep number cannot go below zero. Digging deep chances gained from the check the deck cards can be used in any round. Grant the boxer bonuses on both attack and defense. And there are red ones, injury checks. The boxer has potentially incurred an injury, may be required to roll on the injury chart to see if he is able to continue. And you will um, look at the injury ratings, which are here beneath finesse and power um unforeseen event black anything is possible an unforeseen event card is drawn did you forget you were fighting a southpaw rocky 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 you're about to fall victim to the rope -a dope he's given the champ a leather shampoo anything is possible here charts and other items to be used with digging deep we have gone through the charts We may be coming down to the end of the instruction manual. We've seen the reference card. Let's go down a page, see what is on the last three pages of the instruction manual, and then we will call this a video and get to... Ah, we got quick play. 
I'll probably do a quick play before I do Balboa Ali. So that way you can see how the quick play is done as well. With Digging Deep, you can not only play about round by round, you can also quick play about with one roll of the dice. This is a perfect way to quick play an undercard if you intend to full play the main event. In order to quick play about, you will need to determine who is superior boxer and who is the inferior boxer with the greatest number listed in their digging deep box is considered the superior for quick play purposes only. If they have the same numbers, they are considered equals. Use this method in determining champion and challenger to figure out superiority. Um, and use the same method of determining use this method in determining champion and challenger. Okay. Uh, to determine the outcome of a quick play bout, roll all three dice. The red die is used to determine which card will be checked to determine the outcome. I'm presuming that is the one that is thousands. So boom, nothing has been said about color of dice. So in my instance, that's my hundreds rather, that would tell me which card I'm going to check. So if both boxers are equal, a four, I look at the superior boxer. Uh, let's say I rolled a seven. Um, if the superior boxes has three more digging deep points, I'm going to look at the superior boxer. If the superior boxer has two more digging deep points or less than the inferior boxer, I'm going to be looking at the inferior boxer's card. Okay. Once you've determined whose card is going to be used, use the white and the blue die to determine the final outcome. And in my instance, it's going to be the percentile. So I would roll the 20, look at the card, see if it was a KO, if it's a loss, if it's a win, or if it's a knockdown. And that way I would be able to see who is going to win the quick play bout. Alrighty, so that is quick play, which actually it, it's kind of simple. So that's a good way to do the undercards for everything. So uh, we may do a little thing going there. Yep, KO, the boxer is winner by way of knockout. W, the boxer's way is winner by way of unanimous decision. This boxer has lost by way of unanimous decision if L comes up. K, D, this boxer lost by way of knockout. D, the bout was too close to call and is considered a draw. So let us go down a little further in the rule book here. Two pages left to go, I believe. Let's see what else there is. This looks like it's going to be a fun, cool little game, especially to put a whole thing around. Oh, we've got sample rounds. Okay. And I got Max Bear and Mike Tyson. Um, we're going to do sample rounds in my bout in my next video. There's boom. Make sure there's nothing else, but it gives you sample rounds that you can go through and you can see what all happened. Um, in conclusion, I would like, and this is from uh, Robert, the creator of Digging Deep Sports Games, and here you can see where to go to check out his games. Uh, I would like to thank you for, I want to read this for him, Rob Lennon. I would like to thank you for taking the time to play my games. I created Digging Deep Boxing because I wanted a game that I would enjoy to play. Thanks for giving uh, DDBX a chance. After a handful of bouts, I hope you'll agree that DDBX is as solid a tabletop boxing game as there is on the market. If you have any questions regarding any of my products, feel free to email me at rlennon at diggingdeepsports.com you can also check out my other games at diggingdeepsports.com check there for updates and info on all of my games feel free to post any comments concerns or questions and he has a delphi forums for digging deep thanks again and happy rolling rob lennon digging deep sports so guys that is going through the instructions that is explaining step by step what to find in the instructions showing you the charts showing you the check the deck card decks showing you um, the reference card and uh, we are going to go ahead and call this a stream 
and we're going to come back with a nice undercard and it's going to culminate in Ali Balboa right here on Stratomatic Delaware it's going to be Friday morning early afternoon fights <laughs> so guys this is Chris Stratomatic Delaware thank you so very much for uh, tuning in here um, I'm sure Rob Lennon thanks you as well. If you're interested in this game, please check it out. Uh, very economic in for a new kind of tabletop sports game. And um, just from reading the instruction books, I haven't played a game yet, but I really think I'm going to like it for what it is. I really do. The heavyweight set came with, gosh, cards. <laughs> Oh, man. If you order the printed cards, just so you know, and it, it didn't put me off. I wasn't upset about it or anything. I didn't realize that he had, you know, he has staples print the cards. I didn't realize that it was send the order off to the printer, wait two or three weeks until they filled the order, and then it was sent to me. Which, once that was clarified, dude, totally cool. So just going into it so you know. If you want to get the ebook, you can print it out yourself. You can cut the cards. You can... Do that however you wish. Get playing sooner. Um, if you order the printed ones, it's really nice having the printed ones because I just cut um, Inside Pitch National League 1984 last night listening to Al and Ron. And I'll tell you what, it takes a long time to cut the cards. Um, so if you don't mind waiting for it, it really is nice getting the printed cards. Rob's got a fantastic game, as I can see. Fantastic products at Digging Deep Sports. Check him out. Guys, this is Chris. Stratomatic Delaware, keep on rolling.